Some cops can be pretty corrupt, especially the ones who do bad things for absolutely no reason. Like planting evidence on innocent people, those cops need to be taught a good lesson. So first up today is a woman who got stopped because of her tail lights. The officer had asked her to get out of her car so he can search her. Did you notice the little white baggie he left on that spoon? Well, take a look at what happens when he searches the car from the passenger's side. Neither he nor his brother Franklin had contact with the complainant. Apparently, there's an ongoing family feud between them. He has confirmed that the brother is in town. He's 10 4. I'm 10 8 2. This is a big one. Hey, Mr. Oh, Miss Odom. It is yogurt, sir. I know. Okay. It's how, yogurt. How about this, sir? That is not mine. No, sir. I'm not going to ask you any no, direct, sir. On, I'm not going to ask you any direct um, questions. I'm going to read you your rights first, okay? So just hang out with Deputy Hake here. What? I have an idea. We're going to test it, though, okay? So who goes by the name Zach then conducted a drug test, and of course, these were the results. What? Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, there it goes. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Thank you, Jess. Do you have anything on you, Miss Odom? I said I didn't have anything on me in the truck. Oh, okay, but do you have anything on your person is what I I'm asking? I have nothing on me to my knowledge okay. at Thank all. Thank you. We're good. Instead of planting evidence, these cops decided to arrest a man after a one minute long interrogation with the person that called 911. The cops went to the suspect without introducing themselves and just arrested him. No, no, no. Hey, hey, I'm out here. I'm Tim. This is Brittany. That was the neighbor right there. Yeah. The call. Wait, wait. This is Brittany. Okay. She's the one that got hit. I live here. This is my yeah, friend Brittany. There, there. And then this is my neighbor that hit her. I wasn't even here. I was outside. I literally she just saw it. banged you. on the door, like, or through the wall. Bam, bam, bam. And I'm sleeping. Shut the f up. And so I like came out and was like, what, what's going on? He busted all of my shit. My nose, my mouth. All I, yeah, I want, like, all I want to do is like, hey, was what outside. was, what was disturbing you? And he was like, shut the fuck up, boom. Was he white, black? Hispanic? He's white. She's clearly drunk, right? Now let's take a look at how these professionals handled the situation. I'm gonna put my dog in the bathroom, okay? Okay. 
What do you want? What the <laughs> fuck? What the fuck? Over there. Put it down, motherfucker! Put it down! Put it down! Get, Get on up the here. ground now! Back up, back up, back up. Get out here right now! Get out here! I hit that Get wall. on the ground! No, they hit that wall so hard, I thought they were gonna come through the wall. Stop! <laughs> what you gonna do? What you gonna do? Okay. Part's unconscious. Deployed. Party came out with a machete. The poor man was just trying to explain himself, and the cops had to go and taser him, then arrest him. They didn't know if he had any heart problems or any other illnesses with his old age. We now have the time two officers planted evidence on four innocent people after stopping them for speeding. Yo, you were just playing something in my car? Bro, step back. Excuse me. Step Wait, back. hold on. Step back. Yo, he pressed something in my car, yo. He pressed something in my car. Yo, why am I getting locked up? Now they're clearly up to something because they just seem to be disappointed for not finding anything. Nah, we, we didn't find it, but he's bugging out, so I guess now it's going to be OGA. He's not letting us do our job, you know? Stand back, please. Thank you. Alright, this was in the back seat on the floor. So, man, I want a cigarette. It's lit. Just had to put it out. But here's some more body cam footage from before the search, when another one of those officers is communicating with the cop who planted the drugs. Hold on to this. Huh? I gotta hold on to this. <laughs> this next officer didn't necessarily plant evidence, but he did arrest this guy for a reason that is non-existent. It smells like weed down here. Hi. You're not recording this, this private police department. It's not a private police department. It's a public police department. Turn that off or I'm going to seize the camera. This is a public area. This is, no. No, it's my property, you sir. Must, you this must, is a public you, area. Not record in the this is a public the area. Is not. No, the, the, the Supreme case, Court's already no, decided on case this. Case law says you the, cannot record. No, it doesn't. This. Absolutely. No. No, get off of my equipment. Absolutely. Get off of my equipment. You're under arrest. For what? For interfering with a police officer. Interfering with the police. You're stealing my equipment. Put your hands behind your back. You're stealing my. This is a public lobby. I came down here to get an employee complaint form against you. I'm not resisting you. There's no need to do that. I put my hands behind my back, didn't I? No, you're not going to do that. You're obviously violating the law right now. You're under arrest. You were violating it yesterday. Do not resist. I'm not resisting. My dog is attached to me. Here we have the man standing up for himself, and the officer very clearly states that he does not care. What I'm doing was walking up to you. I didn't think he would be here and asking for two employee complaint forms. That's it. That's as far as my business would have gone. That is a public lobby. I know that from your own chief, your city attorney. Uh, who else? It doesn't really matter past that point, does it? That is a public lobby. That is open to the public. There's no signage anywhere when you come in here that says this is private property and you can't record here. You ha even have your own fucking cameras right there. I find it really convenient that there's a blind spot in that hallway right in that corner. So I understand your complaint. If you want to talk about it, I don't care. It, my my stuff's on. Okay. So I mean, you don't need to explain to me. You seemed level-headed. You were quiet yesterday. Uh, you don't care about what happened yesterday. I literally came in here to file a complaint and video record that complaint. I am totally allowed to do that under federal and state law. We'll now be witnessing another officer planning evidence after he knew he messed up. The cop who threw the taser next to the suspect had just shot the suspect three times. The suspect was stopped for a faulty tail line. Oh shit.
Oh shit. Fucking abuse. For this case, there was physical proof of the cop planting evidence, so he got fired. But I think charges should definitely have been fired. Coming up is a cop that worked hand in hand with a trooper to plant evidence. As you'll see in the first clip, the trooper seems to be rustling around a lot near the passenger seat floor. Exactly. Because then you could have said, okay, well. Now take a look at how the trooper communicates with the cop. But uh, this is where it gets even more interesting. The cop had taken his drug kit with him to search the car, like he knows he's gonna find something. All it is is smoke. Cigarette smoke out. Okay. Well. Can I see that? Sure. You see where it's separated? Jeez. So what I'm looking for is clear on the bottom, dark on the top, like it is. Mm -hmm. Alright, so marijuana is marijuana. After the footage surfaced, the case for the drug possession was dismissed. Now we have the time a police sergeant planted evidence prior to calling the cops to search a scrapyard.
will now see her frantic on the phone pacing up and down. It later came out that the police sergeant had a personal vendetta on the owner of the scrapyard.